Hey, dude. What's going on? Hello. Hey. Oh. Hey. How's your day, man? Oh, it's been really scary. You what? know, this morning yeah. while I was working, uh, there's this large stuff that nearly fall on my feet. You know. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you know what's the problem? I don't really. I, I'm, I'm too poor to buy, even buy like steel toe shoes. Oh, I'm I, kind of scared. You know? I'm pretty sure our, our, our boss is supposed to like pay for like stuff like that. Have you bothered asking him for? He's such a sin <coughs> stingy person, you know. I tried to ask him, like, I kind of tried to explain to him my situation, and he won't even give me like even a hundred bucks just to subsidize for the thing. Like the shoes, like two hundred fifty bucks, is kind of expensive, you know. Mm, that's actually really, really yeah. good. Yeah, really, really bad. I don't know, should I tell like his boss? Like, should I tell HR? Mm, I think you should. Don't worry, upper management wants you to feel safe while you're working. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that sentiment at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, they might not care whether or not directly, directly whether or not you're safe, but if, if, if like, you get injured and you mm -hmm. have to leave work, that's bad for them as well because they need you working in order for them to make money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you feel unsafe while you're working, your quality of your work will like, suffer and they'll make less profit. Yeah, yeah, like it kind of bothers me that I, my foot might get hurt every day, it kind of just disrupts my flow. Yeah, yeah. see, uh, upper management, that's, that's bad for them. And, and, if our, and if this company allows such a bad work environment to like, go on, their reputations and employer will suffer and eventually they're going to have a hard time hiring new talent if we leave. Hmm, good point. Yeah. yeah. Upper management wants all this to, to be resolved. Mm. Yeah, they should. Um, the thing is, like, I love this company, but like, it's just this this boss is really being considered right now. I don't really want to whistleblow, like, to tell everybody about how bad it costs, because it's just this one guy who's bad. But, like, the, I love this company as a general, but I don't know, I can't find a, a balance between, like, trying to fix safety procedures and, like, Protecting the company's reputation. Don't worry. This 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 doesn't have to go go public unless it that that go, whistleblowing to the public is always the last resort. You can always talk to talk to like upper management or like board of directors first. Oh, talk, okay. Talk, talk talk to them first. See if they can resolve the problem. Because uh -huh. I I I I don't want this company to have a bad reputation either. Mm -hmm. I I don't want to know that I worked for like five years at a company that doesn't care about safety. So mm. yeah, we, we can oh. talk to upper, upper management first, and only if that doesn't work that we will resort to bring, bringing this public and potentially ruining this company's reputation. I see. Don't worry. Even if this, this if this does go public and you like get fired for it, mm -hmm. the, there, are, there are laws in place that mean that that you have ways to like deal to like deal with that. Oh, what laws are they? For for example, if if they like fire you for like no suddenly for like no no reason mm -hmm. that counts as wrongful dis dismissal and then you can sue them for that. Oh, I see. Yeah, and and if you lodge an official co complaint and you wait, I think, and you wait and wait and, and then leave, that also gives you, if, like if you quit in like protest of this, that also counts that you, you have a way of, of suing them after that as well. Oh, so like if I, if I told HR that, but they didn't respond at all, so yeah. I can just quit? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know that, because like, yeah, huh. Yeah, and employer has no just cause for like firing you all, all, all of a sudden. You, mm -hmm. the company has like a lot to lose from that. Oh, I see. Yeah, after hearing your points, yeah, there's more benefits than risks to whistleblowing. Yeah. For my safety and like you like our safety as well, we should I should probably go and tell HR. But uh, I feel like I will need some professional advice on someone you know experienced in this kind of like labor law. Or, do you know any like and uh, lawyers? Who yeah, are... yeah. I I like I like met a like really good good lawyer in my like, ethics class in the university. I'll bring up his website now. Oh. You have, a you have a lawyer in your class back then? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was super awesome. Okay.